Six years after being forced out of MGM, L.B. Mayer entered the hospital for a checkup. He never left. Today, October the 29th, 1957, Mr. Mayer died of leukemia. His old friend and studio publicist, Howard Strickling, was at the deathbed. He heard the old tycoon mutter his last words. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. I cried. When I heard about Mr. Mayer having passed on, he meant everything in the world to me. He gave me my place and the sun. I loved Mr. Mayer very much. I thought that the industry had lost a great, great, great leader. And uh, I, I thought he was a man to be admired. And uh, he'd, he'd done a great job. He'd gone into a um, fledgling industry. Then he'd made it work. And he'd been the leader. He was without question the, the, the king of the crowd. I remember going to the hospital to see him. He's still preaching to be a good girl. And don't forget, you have children now. And still a family man. He was, he was wonderful. It's very sad. I think when he went, he took the studio with him. So he didn't really lose.